Okay. Tell us about your typical morning. Okay, I come in and I finish my blueberry smoothie almost every morning. And then I have my green tea. Yeah, just slurp it. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. Let us hear you slurp it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I check my day planner, which uh, today looks like that. This week it looks like that. Looks like I'm not doing anything, but okay. Let's show them a typical typical week looks like this. Isn't that crazy? Oh, we gotta hide some of those passwords. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So hide them. Because you know but today, they're watching. The reason why this week there's nothing in here because this is my day planner, which is the uh, Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which and it's the second national event being hosted in Inuvik. Uh, the first one was last year in Winnipeg, and we've been super busy with that. So day one was yesterday. What did we have day one? We had opening ceremonies and honorary witnesses. I was really impressed with uh, Robert Wiseman, who's a Polish uh, Jew who uh, survived the Holocaust, uh, but he lost his four brothers and his family. And um, by the time he had left the concentration camp, he had kind of forgotten his name because he was called by numbers. So today, I'm going to hound him for an interview because he's really succinct and powerful and a very like kind of got the salt of the earth kind of personality. He's got the salt, but keep salt in his pocket? No. What are you talking he's about? He's just down to earth and um, he's, he's a man of few words for someone who's been through what he's been through and, and he is, was the president of uh, Vancouver Holocaust Center until recently. And yeah, so today is um, Expressions of Reconciliation. I need to go in about five minutes. And um... You think Fijians should have a TRC of their own? No. How come? Because we're no one heard us. No one heard us. We didn't okay. have a residential school. We have no atrocities in Fiji. The only thing was that the I British took the Indians from India and um, to plant sugarcane in Fiji, and then the Fijians enjoyed it. The Indians, in, well, the Fijian Indians, anyway. I don't know, maybe there's some ethnic tension. I don't know about it. I haven't been to Fiji in, like, since I was four. And... Uh, are you going to check your email now? Oh, I can't check my email because wireless doesn't work in our office. How long have you been having the problem? For, like, a week now. Okay. Oh, let's go check. So what I usually do then is I go and check email in your office. That's what I usually do. Can you hit the music play? Yes. This is what Mons is listening to this morning. That's weird, man. That's really weird. Okay. I actually sent my emails this morning already. Because I'm on top of my game. Ooh, she's top As a of fake journalist. Look at the TRC Media Pass. And... She's not a fake, fake general journalist. Mm -hmm. She's a great journalist. We need to check a little bit of Twitter. Because, um, gotta keep updated on what's going on with my friends. What did they call you yesterday? You called me. Oh, yeah, Maharani. Maharani. Yeah. Yeah. You would do it with, with style. I would, I would be a Maharani with style? Yeah. I don't know. I, th I consider myself pretty uh, simple. When are you getting deported? I was born here. But still, you can still get deported. Why? Where? To where? Fiji. Ugh. Whatever. It'll be fun taking the boat back. Mm-hmm. There's planes that fly to Fiji nowadays. Did you know that? 
<laughs> you know what? I have a better question. Why don't you like to be filmed, right? And why do you especially hate being filmed when you're wearing a, a short sleeve t-shirt? Why are you so shy? Because I like my privacy. You like your privacy? Yeah. I'm a private person. Mm hmm I, okay, before when the... But I do show up to parties, though. Which parties have you <laughs> been to lately? I'd like to, I'd like to know something. Which party have you been to lately? <laughs> These are not the kind of parties that uh -huh, you're thinking uh -huh. about. Right. I just show up there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I dance. Do you even know how to dance? Of course I do. Oh my Haven't God. you seen me at the Muscat Jamboree? <laughs> Where you beat people up at musical chairs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I should finish my tea and then head over to TRC. Yeah. You gonna find out the truth? I am. I am. I'm there to listen to people's truths. No. I'm cried out. I'm totally cried out. I can't even fake cry anymore. Yesterday, the Holocaust survivor just made me cry. And then all of those residential school survivors who are apologizing to their children made me cry because they're apologizing for being pa bad parents or spouses. And it's just really, really sad. And Oh, not sad. It was just really emotional. It was emotional, you know? It was nice that people weren't like, I'm a victim. It was nice, like, people were doing something more productive than that. Okay, I gotta go. Got to go to the Sam School for the expressions of reconciliation ceremonies or whatever. Whatever they are. Okay? Okay, I'm not stopping you. Okay, good, good, good. Are you still filming? Oh, God. These are, I only put like three minute films on my YouTube channel. We want to hear you slurp it one more time. <laughs>